3.1. What's up, y'all? It's Wednesday hump day. That's what they call it. What's up? It's Erica. My name is Erica. And you have you have tuned in to Erica De Niro TV. <laughs> <laughs> Erica De Niro TV. What's up, y'all? So, what's going on? Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment if you want notifications on when I um, premiere videos or when a video is uploaded and posted. Hit the little bell twice so there's two little whoop, little 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 jingleies around it uh, to let you know that it's it's jingling, baby. <laughs> Um, so what's up? What are we doing? What's going on? Y'all got plans for the for the barbecue weekend? What are we doing? Are we going to family's house? Are we staying home? Are we relaxing? Are we catching up on movies? Um, somebody posted and I'll post it. I always say I'm gonna post something in the description box. Y'all gotta remind me because I forget by the time I'm done editing and by the time the video uploads and everything. But um there is a list of black ass movies. That are considered classic movies and they went all the way to some black and white movies I had never heard of and then I think it was like 21 movies I had seen 13 of the 21 so I'm gonna put the link down so I'm, I was like maybe that's what I'll do over the little you know you know uh, vacation or weekend or whatever the days you have off whatever they call them um, maybe I'll do that because uh, there were some interesting movies. I was like, oh, I've never heard of this movie before. These black ass movies. And another movie I wanted to watch over was um, She's Got a Habit. I haven't seen the original She's Got a Habit in a long time. Um, so, what's going on? So, I'm trying to get my life together. I was thinking it, was like, it wasn't going to be any traffic, but it's traffic going to the city to the city anyway so what's going on y'all so i don't have anything to talk about today the only thing that i really that the first thing that came to mind this morning was tokyo vanity getting chris brown together uh, chris brown has lyrics has had lyrics um about his preference in women and his preference tends to lean more sort lean more towards the european standardized you know concepts of beauty you know um nice hair right um so tokyo vanity i don't know what happened she went on instagram and said that um her friends were not allowed in chris brown's vip because there were no darkies darkies allowed that's what she said darkies i said oh okay darkies um and to be honest i believe her <laughs> i believe her though that those are that i mean he's that type of nigga though i mean he's just that type he's just that type of dude i mean he got a new album out called indigo a lot of the songs i mean a lot of the songs chris brown has i feel like i i like chris brown and i've liked him since he you know, I, it's it's a it's um it's weird for me to see him, and he's only thirty years old, and I feel like he should be older than that. He's been through so much. I feel like he has a lot of unhealed trauma and emotional issues, some kind of mental illness and stuff like that. And then he's also has some anger issues and whatever, and some you know drug issues and stuff like that. So we know what like kind of where this guy is coming from you know what i'm saying um and in addition to that he's very talented in um chris brown is very talented chris brown is a taurus what, what sign is chris brown he's very talented though he is really talented and that's not something that you can take away he's had some issues with women um with karuchi stalking karuchi like you know just just raggedy ass ashy ass nigga fuck boy fuck nigga behavior you know what i'm saying so for somebody to say he didn't want any darkies in his um in his vip first of all i don't why do you want to be in his vip anyways 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 so she said in la it happened in la and it happened in miami 
no darkies and she and then I guess he posted a picture of her an unflattering picture of Tokyo Vanity and said oh uh, like I'm gonna take you out let me take you out Tokyo Vanity has a boyfriend she was like first of all I'm not even your baby when I tell you she roasts the shit let me tell you something shout out to everybody from New Orleans them niggas roast the best in anybody ever from New York to California niggas from Louisiana roast better than anybody especially from New Orleans roast roast they roast like that's what they learn in elementary school that's like what they learn in pre-k how to roast motherfuckers I know y'all seen that uh <laughs> that video of super um teaching her son how to roast on his way to school do you you guys remember that let me tell you something you cannot I don't, I don't care I don't I don't care she roasted his ass she called him she called him bitch I don't know how many times that shit was hilarious that shit was funny she said I know you don't want to take me out I'm not even I know you like things of the lighter complexion she said coke ha! molly heron uh, embalming fluid what else did she say um, what else did that bitch say? Acid for Paz and Ed Brown. Bitch, stop playing with me. Okay, all that talking about can you take me out and all that, like, bitch, that shit not funny. Second of all, bitch, I'm not even your type, bitch. You into things of, you know, lighter complexion, you know, coke, heroin, Miley, acid, embalming fluid. Oh, I'm just saying, Puerto Rican women, white women, Asian women, you know, and that's all fine because that's your preference and we all entitled to a preference. Bitch, all I'm doing is calling it like I see it. When we was in the club in Miami and when we was in the club in LA, bitch, in your section, your rules was no dark as you wouldn't let my homegirl in in LA, but you let all her friends in. And in Miami, you wouldn't let my other homegirl in, but you let all her friends in. But y'all was talking about no dark skin women. All I'm saying is like a gangster, how you feel. Still stand on that shit because me, however I feel about anything, I'ma stand on it ten toes, bitch. Don't come changing your opinion and how you feel about shit because everybody bashing you. And furthermore, I told my homegirl not to even be in your session because bitch, she don't even do coco. And then for you to even come on the internet playing with me today, furthermore, let me know that bitch, you must be on them drugs bad. Because bitch, I don't even play with niggas like you, bitch. I make a real nigga back the fuck out you, bitch. You'll really be around LA dancing, bitch. And then somebody said Tokyo in the background and she said I'm just saying Puerto Rican women Asian women white women you don't like the girls my complexion you like th like things of the lighter complexion bitch Tokyo vanity roasted his ass that shit was so funny to me and the accent it's the accent I love a New Orleans accent better than I used to love a New York accent um, now I'm triggered by a New York accent, but uh, <laughs> I really love a uh, New Orleans accent. I love it from men and women. I'd be like, heart emoji eyes, heart eyes emoji. I love it. That's why I love watching Blondie Bondy Blue. I said Blondie Bondy Blue. She's from New Orleans. She's so cute. Her face is so cute, and then that accent. She'd be like, baby. <laughs> I love it. I fucking love that shit. But. She called him bitch so many times. I said, drink every time Tokyo say bitch. She called that nigga a bitch. Bitch, listen. I know you don't like things of the dark. dark I'm not even the, the things that you like. You like things of the lighter complexion. And the thing is, people are always saying that's a preference. You know, I prefer light-skinned women with long hair. I, I've had men say that to me. I prefer light-skinned women with long hair. So you have really been indoctrinated and, and conditioned. Yes, it's a preference, but it's a preference based on some conditioning that you are really unconsciously, you're not aware of. You like something that looks as close to white without getting getting to white as possible. That's what it is. And the, the, the um, conversation of colorism continues to come up when we are discussing black men and their preferences, right? This conversation keeps coming up. And un unfortunately, it, it is stemmed in the illusion of white supremacy because white is deemed better. You know, you wanna go mainstream, you wanna cross over, you wanna appeal to white audiences, you want to make white people comfortable. So you go out and get you something that is gonna make them comfortable so you can feel some type of approval or acceptance. And, and, it's, and 
a lot of it is done unconsciously and that's really sad because you should be woke and aware enough to understand that oh this is why this is my preference I never really ask yourself why you have these preferences and the preferences are based on skin tone and hair texture like that's it's kind of it's kind of weird and I know that you know for men like in I, I was talking uh, um, on Twitter somebody said why do black men only go for pretty black women or beautiful black women and it's it's this idea that all the, these things about preferences and like I feel like preferences on skin tone on complexion that's so weird to me it's we that that's so weird like I prefer a light-skinned man okay okay what <laughs> I prefer um, a woman with long hair wavy hair I prefer a woman who looks exotic I like and when you say exotic that means not black not bl not blackish okay <laughs> that's what you really mean blackish and I think it is offensive some people's preferences are offensive because it's like I prefer a woman with like I could see a tall man saying I prefer tall women right I could see that like to me that makes kind of sense but for a man to be like I prefer a light-skinned woman with long hair that is my preference well, what, what is it have you ever asked yourself why that's your preference these uh, these these white standards of beauty that black men have for black women um, it's just gross it's it makes me actually sick to my stomach when I'm thinking I'm just thinking about it and it's like in the pit of my stomach I feel I feel disgusted because it's like his, it's his preference it's his preference I don't even know how to verbalize the disgust that I have because I know what it's stemmed in like you can have your preferences all fucking day even like Tokyo was like you can have your preferences no big deal but in, in the search of your preference does not mean that you have to put down another group. But for him to say, I believe it. No darkies. I believe it. I just believe that. I believe it. Black men want beautiful women. Yes, we understand that. But let's get into the preferences that women have of men. And that men just really just, they get really upset and offended by. This men... Here's the thing. We've already talked about it and we already understand in terms of society and how it goes. Men choose women based on their visual. You know, are they are they nice looking? Are they pretty? Is she going to compliment me? Right. Is she pretty? Right. Pretty, you know, and then, you know, you have your pre your body shapes that you like or whatever. You want her to be pretty. You want to be or you want her to be pretty. And for women. Women are typically attracted to men with power because power translates into you being able to take care of me and protect me. Not take care of me like you're going to turn into a sugar daddy or anything like that, meaning you're able to like the the idea that where the idea that um, men are supposed to be protectors and providers, power looks like that right and then that also translates into wealth because I don't know any powerful broke niggas okay so when a woman says that she prefers a powerful translates to wealthy man black men really get upset about that and and then in turn call women gold diggers how is it that you expect to have a bad bitch because if she's a bad bitch I'm telling you she's spending at least on her self maintenance at least two thousand dollars a month nails hair um fillers whatever she's going to get done to make herself attractive to a powerful man she's gonna do it and broke niggas with no wealth and no power are really offended by that preference a woman can't have a preference of wealth and power of power and wealth 
but he can have a preference that he wants a light skinned bitch with long hair a fat ass titty sitting under her chin and fucking a flat stomach that's what y'all want but then y'all say y'all want natural hair so a lot of there's a lot of black women with natural hair that is it really what you like because you like a hair that looks like I don't know the hair texture um, numbers but my hair had been cut off for I don't I don't know how long so I don't really be concerned with curl patterns but women with long wavy I'll use Mariah Carey as an example that's the kind of hair y'all niggas is talking about not too many I don't want to say not too many, but there are a lot of black women who do not have hair like that. So you tell black women to wear their natural hair, but then you talk about their hair when they wear it naturally because it's not long and it's not straight and it's not, doesn't look like Mariah Carey's hair. It looks like uh, Viola Davis's hair, right? It doesn't look like um, Angela Rye's hair right you understand what i'm saying doesn't look like it doesn't look so when you say you have these all these standards of beauty i know i'm all over the place because i just it's just so much it comes from it comes from the illusion of white supremacy and ideas of 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 your ideas of beauties being aligned with european standards of beauty right and then have saying that their preferences but then on the opposite getting mad at women for having a preference like if you want me to look like this i want you to have this and it's typically broke men who, who are calling women gold diggers because they they can't afford to keep her up because they feel like oh she's she's a go yeah she's a gold digger she just wants niggas money well you want some you like remy ma said when peter guns called cardi b uh, saying that men getting money out of men to take care of yourself while he's dating you is whole is whole shit but you can ask a bitch to fuck on the first date but she can't ask you to get her nails done she can't ask you for a fucking washcloth to wash her pussy like you understand what i'm saying and it's like the standards are it, i don't know it's all over the place it's all over the place i'm tired of talking about it i mean i don't know i just it's it's because it's it's funny what tokyo said but these I, the, but the root of this shit is riddled in european standards of beauty and I, i'm just i i get tired of men saying that these things that these are preferences. That's so fucking weird. It makes me want to throw up. Like I, I literally am feeling sick because it's a, it's, it's trash. It really is trash. I don't know. I have a preference. I, I only, I only date dark skin niggas. I only date light skin niggas. I only date tall niggas. I only date niggas with big dicks. I only date niggas who have, you know, uh, two commas in their bank account. I only date niggas who, you know, the, the, the things, the preferences, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even fucking feel like talking. I know Mercury Retrograde is, is hitting me because I can't get my words out. I can't figure out what the fuck I want to say, but y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. And y'all have watched enough of my goddamn videos to understand what I'm trying to say because this shit is dumb. And, you know, him and Tiger had a song. Um, all my girl, all my, all my girls with the real hair, with the top down, screaming out, "Hey yo!" Remember that song? All my girls with the real hair. But this standard of beauty that you have, a lot of black women can't achieve that, so they do go out and get um, um, weaves or whatever the hell wigs or whatever you call it. And then y'all talk about them wearing wigs and weaves and stuff. Like that's not natural. It's like, it's it's a lot of shit that black women have to fucking deal with in order to fucking relate to our counterparts. And, and, and a lot of these niggas really, only really want, they don't really like black women. And unconsciously don't even fit, and don't even understand it. Your, your stand, your preference is not a black woman. Your preference is a, is a white 
woman, Latin woman, Asian woman with black aesthetics. Just be honest. You want you don't want a black woman. You want a white woman who who performs black woman aesthetics. That's like that's the truth. And that's what Tokyo said. Don't don't stand in your shit. If you say something, stand in your shit. Don't retract or backtrack because you getting bashed on the internet. Stand in your shit, nigga. You only like light skinned girls with long hair or ni nice hair. Nice hair. Nice. What's the opposite of nice? Mean? So what do girls with mean hair look like? Nice hair? What's nice hair? What's nice hair? I just don't understand you niggas. Y'all get on my fucking nerves. I'm like this, this close. This close. This close. Y'all get on my nerves. It's like after a while you just don't even want to relate to anybody who thinks like that who has ideas like that because you're not aware enough to understand your preferences are stemmed in in european standards of beauty you black my nigga like fuck out of here that shit is so disgusting like I, I i'm telling you i feel like i want to fucking throw up talking about this shit because it's so disgusting no darkies nigga fuck you the fuck who the fuck are you no darkies and that's my preference no darkies like oh my God. <laughs> i'm trying to, i'm trying hard to stay calm because it's trash it's trash but it happens it happens all through colorism is real and colorism is a result of some type of psychological conditioning of self-hate and and we continue to perpetuate it by our preferences. By having these preferences. The fuck? I only date light skinned niggas with good hair. What? what kind of shit is that? That sounds fucking stupid. That sounds dumb as fuck. I only date light skinned niggas with good hair. The fuck up. With nice hair. Sorry, excuse me. With nice hair. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. What do y'all think about that? Do y'all have preferences? And do your and are your preferences like based in some type of like you like for your men to look blackish? And like I said yesterday, women don't have a lot of women don't have those kind of preferences. Men have preferences based on looks. Women have preferences based on power. Period. So a woman will date an ugly nigga in a heartbeat. A heartbeat. A man will not date an ugly woman. I don't give a fuck. Ask a nigga will it. She gotta be, have as much money as Oprah in order for a nigga to date a woman who looks like Oprah. A regular bitch who looks like Oprah, I'm keeping it fucking real. A regular bitch who looks like Oprah is not going to get no dates. She gotta have money. A man will not go after, a man will go after a woman who makes half as him, not equally yoked, half as him, as long as she is a 10 in his eyes. A woman will go after a man whose pockets are on 10, not him necessarily being on 10. Men will go, and, if, and now, now, a man will not go after a woman who is equally yoked in terms of accomplishments and finances and stuff like that if she's just an average looking woman. He will not. He won't. She'll be the last, the absolute last resort, last choice. Pretty and broke, fine. It's good. We we won't go. A lot of women will learn later. Like pretty, a, a cute man. There's no currency in that. None at all. You cute and you a brokey. There's no currency in that. What you gonna do unless you a model, nigga? And you ain't no fucking model. So there's that. Cute broke niggas ain't don't appeal to women at all. Some women and cute broke women they appeal to men. They talk shit, but a man will go after a broke pretty girl before he goes after an average rich woman. I'm just saying because women go after power, men go after beauty. 
and men who do not have power want women with the beauty, but you don't have the money. You don't have the money. You don't have the power. And now I'm a gold digger because I have a preference because I, ha I'm, I, I have the self-maintenance that I like to keep up. And this is what you like, right? But you broke and you can't help me maintain this to keep you, right? Because that's what they say. Stay, stay the way that you got them, right? That's what they tell you. So I'm going to have to maintain this and for you, right? But you don't have no money to maintain. So now I'm a gold digger? Nigga, fuck you. With no Vaseline. Because the shit is stupid. Y'all get mad because women have preferences of power and wealth. But you're okay with having preferences of complexion and hair texture? <laughs> My preference, I prefer dating men who live close to me. I don't I do not prefer long distance relationship. Like it's shit like that. Don't like preferences, you know? I don't know. I do I guess you do have a preference for how people look, but when it's stemmed in that, that shit is trash to me. Cause we know what for black people we know where that comes from we know where that comes from i'm late as fuck anyway honey i've been talking all this time i looked up i i, I was hoping that i looked up and the thing wasn't recording because i'm just so like you could tell mercury is you know mercury is the planet of communication y'all know y'all know y'all know mercury is the planet of communication and when Mercury goes into retrograde, it's not it's time it's time to relax, recharge, refresh. You know, things will start coming up. But then the moon is also in Cancer, so we like it. Emo I'm emotional. I'm super emotional. I saw a girl this morning dancing with her little brother at her quinceañera and her father had been deported by ICE and she, and had already had her, you know, planning her quinceañera and her father couldn't dance with her. I just broke my heart. Oh because <clears throat> y'all know how I feel about children that poor little girl is go is wounded y'all took her father away like ugh. and Iceland killed 43 people in custody like ugh. men women and children and then the 4th of July this this stupid bastard is supposed to be having some kind of some kind of war parade with fucking um, tanks and shit driving down the street like I hope no one shows up and half of his base can't even afford to get to where he's doing this parade let's just be honest what broke white low class with what they call each other white trash they can't even afford to get to the to the damn parade I hope it's empty I know I was all over the place today, guys, but what are you going to do? Um, Basketball Wives comes on tonight. I thought it came on last night. I was I kept looking for it. I was like, where's Basketball Wives? Where's the stream? You know, I, and I missed talking about Robin yesterday when we was talking about Potomac because um, I forgot. I watched it again last night. And, you know, Robin said about her children that her children who are looked to be under 12 or under 13 years old looked her and Juan up on the internet lie and said and saw that her parent that they were divorced and she doesn't want them asking why you guys aren't married let me tell you something about children children don't give a fuck about systems that were created to keep a bitch enslaved by a nigga by taking his last name on nobody cares about that as a child so that's a lie robin stop lying if you want to marry juan again don't blame it on the children saying that you're going to have to explain why the parents children don't have a concept of marriage understand even little girls who, who picture their weddings at seven years old because disney done pumped some princess bullshit into their fucking heads they don't even have a concept of marriage all they want is a wedding that's why you got women 25 years old thinking they want to get married all they really want is a fucking wedding because at age seven they've been pumped with some fucked up idea of a wedding no concept of marriage so don't say don't say do not say that your kids are going to be asking you why you and daddy aren't married. Y'all live together. Y'all work together. Y'all live in the same house. 
they don't give a fuck. I'll tell you one fucking thing about kids. They don't give a fuck if their parents are married. They fucking care if their parents are happy. They fucking they they fucking care that their parents are not going to scar them with wounds that they'll have to learn how to heal when they're adults. That's what they care about. And and if your kids ask you, "Why did mommy and daddy get a divorce?" Stop the fucking lying, Nova. That's why Nova wrote the fucking book. Because and motherfuckers are used to sitting in their lie and comfortable in the lie and the fallacy of their life. They're okay with that. They're okay with growing up. Tell your children the truth. Your dad cheated on me. He did something that what that we didn't agree upon in our relationship. Tell the fucking truth. Stop lying to these fucking kids. Cause you're ashamed of your fucking choices. Fuck out of here. I got mad. Robin is a fucking dumbass. I had hope. Bitch, I was rooting for you. You talking about, well, my children are going to be asking me, why am I not married? Why are you guys, why is mommy? They don't give a fuck. Trust me. They don't give a fuck. Kids don't care about that shit. That's your stupid adult ass who gives a fuck about somebody thinking, oh, well, you living with Juan. Why do you have to get married? Why do you and Juan have to get married? You don't have to get married, bitch. You're doing everything that it's it's what people used to do before the concept of marriage was introduced to the fucking human race. You're doing exactly what they used to do. Didn't nobody have to go down to the state department and get a license to get married? If you don't get your fucking ass out of here, people been raising kids and raising families and tribes for years and not been married. Get the fuck out of here, Robin. Fucking liar. What sign is Robin? Stupid ass bitch. I said, bitch, I was rooting for you. Fuck you and your short haircut. Mr. Potato Head looking ass bitch. I'm out of here, y'all. All All right, let me come back like I got some sense. That really pissed me off. It's a lot of things about the way that we deal with in society that really makes me not want to deal with adult humans. You guys are fucked up. And these, these fears and these ideas that you place on children that they have no concept of is unfair. It's unfair. So here's the thing. I want you guys to have a good weekend, okay? In the name of Jesus. So, I ain't watching nothing. I ain't doing nothing inappropriate. But it popped in on my news feed that I'm seeing women going into the grocery store at home, round family time, sucking a cucumber. Where we, when y'all start licking fruit, fruit is to be eating, not sucking, not licking it. That is not what you think it is. Come out from amongst them and renew your mind with the word. You are beautiful women. You are not meant for this. Just because your mom was a crackhead does not mean you got to do crack. Stop sucking and pray.